What's up guys, uh, Arm Cargill 10 here, just got back from regionals with my top 8 a lich plant deck profile. So uh, yeah, let's get deck profile in. So uh, starting off with monsters, uh, we have double copies of Eldritch the Golden Lord. So yeah, this is your main boss monster other than DPE of course. Uh, he reads, you can send one card, you can send this card and one spell slash trap from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card in the field for cost, send it to the graveyard. So it sends and does not destroy, really good at outing DPE. And uh, you can also, so on the graveyard, you can, uh, if you, you can send one spell slash trap you control to the graveyard, add this card to your hand, then you special one zombie monster from your hand, and if you do, until the end of your opponent's turn, it gains a thousand attack and defense and cannot be destroyed by battle, no, by card effects. And you can only use each effect once per turn, so that's pretty dang broken, because you can use it, send a monster your opponent controls, set one, then use it, then use its effect, send that spell or trap you just sent to graveyard, special this, or add it to hand and then special. And uh, yeah, it gives you a pretty good 3500 beat stick. Next off, we play three copies of Lone Fire Blossom. So this card right here, essentially you just use this to deck thin a bit. You use it to deck thin once per turn. You can tribute one face up plant monster. You can one, tribute one face up plant monster, special summon one plant monster from your deck. So essentially the combo is normal summon Lone Fire Blossom, tribute, Special Lone Fire Blossom, Tribute Special Lone Fire Blossom, and then you tribute the final Lone Fire Blossom to Special Summon this card right here, Orphis Scorpio, and then you use its effect, usually pitching Eldlitch or just any monster, to Special your Darlington Cobra. Uh, unfortunately, I only have a German copy, uh, and I only have one copy of Orphis Scorpio. Uh, you want to play three Orphis Scorpio for this deck. One Darlington Cobra is fine, I've been testing two. Uh, because like if you see it, it's hard to combo off. But yeah, these two cards are an absolute must-have if you're gonna play this deck. Next off for bricks, we got one Dasher, one Celestial, and you may be thinking, why are people still playing this engine? Well, what my, j well, Darlington Cobra. I know you, some of y'all might not be able to read it because it's German, but still, this searches has a once per dual effect where you can search a fusion spell. Fusion Destiny. You search it, and then you make Celestial and Dasher. You search Celestial and Dasher, and you make DPE. Next off for the artifacts, we play one artifact Scythe and one artifact Lancia. So you may be thinking as well, how do you go into this too if you only play one copy of each? Are you playing Sanctum? No, I'm not. So you actually, so Darlington Cobra, you special Darlington Cobra, off pitching a monster off Orphus Scorpio, which special summons from deck. Then you use these two monsters, you link them off into Artifact Dagda, and then use Activate Fusion Destiny, Chain Stagda. You set Scythe or Lancia depending on whether or not you're playing against Flunders or the other matchups. So moving on to the final monster in the deck, we only play the Effect Veilers as hand traps. Uh, I used to have a lot of hand traps, but we're not going to get into that right now. I would. Usually you would play Ash instead of this for the Despia matchup, but Scythlock works just as good against that matchup. And uh, Ash is just the best hand trap right now, I just don't have it right now. So Effect Failure is a good card though, it helped me a lot in my matchups. So yeah, 3 Effect Failure, really good. Next off for the spells, we play 2 copies of Fusion Destiny. One copy of Card of Demise, one Called by the Grave, and one Twin Twister. Now you may be thinking, why are you playing one copy of Twin Twister? Well, uh, as pa I actually stole this idea from Pac, uh, who actually won a YCS with Trap Eldritch a long time ago. I think it was uh, like a year ago. So not that long, but still a while back. So he played only one of Twin Twister. No, 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 this was actually during his, uh, I actually stole the card Demise from that, but the Twin Twister, when he actually, uh, won a YCS with, when he, when he won a YCS with, uh, Prank Kids, yeah. So I wanted to have a one-up back row removal so I could get rid of Eldlet, 
get rid of Mystic Mine. So, Mystic Mine does kind of hurt the deck a little bit. But really, this was just for things like Skill Drain and Mystic Mine. So, uh, yeah. Uh, these are the only five spells I play in the deck. Uh, so, yeah. Next up for the Eldritch Engine. I know, cringy, right? Three Scarlet Sanguine. Uh, I did play with three real copies in the tournament. A friend let me borrow them. I just uh, had to give them back out to the tournament, so that's why. So yeah, three Scarlet Sanguine is a must. Next off, three Conks. And ouch, this last one. Yeah, I know, the gold's peeling off there. Got it for free, though, so I'm not complaining. It's hard, uh, it's really hard finding cards these days, I guess. So yeah. Lastly, we play Double Haquero of the Golden Land. Uh, so, Sc Scarlet Sanguine. Specials Eldritch from deck or graveyard. Conk. Specials itself is still treated as a trap, and if I control Eldritch, pop a monster. Well, face up card on field, so another out to Mystic Mine, because it counts as a spell, because it counts as a trap then. Haquero. Special itself, just like Conky's Store. And if I control Eldritch, though, I can actually banish a card from the graveyard. I can banish a card from the graveyard, either player's graveyard. This is really good at getting rid of cards that you don't want in your graveyard and that your opponent wants in theirs. So yeah, that's the Eldritch lineup for traps. Next off, three Torrential Tribute. I know, Torrential Tribute, why are you playing this? Well, DP activates when it's destroyed. Eldritch cannot be destroyed. And if it and we want Eldritch in Graveyard anyway, even after the effect wears off. So yeah, great cards right there. Next off, Triple Strike, kind of a no-brainer. Strike, literally, in my round two, I literally opened up three Solemn Strike and two Effect Veiler. My deck was not shuffled well, but I've never been so happy to see Strike in my life. Did not win it, but we still gave them a hard time, so... Yeah, they hated us after this. Next off, some spice. Drowning Mirror Force. So now you may be thinking, this guy's really lost it. He's playing a bad deck with bad cards. But you may be, but this card's actually pretty good. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, shuffle all attack position monsters your opponent controls into the deck. It shuffles them back into the deck. This was for a Flunder matchup, which I did not see, unfortunately, but it's great against the Flunder matchup. Why? Because when they summon everything in attack position, they have to normal summon their things in attack position. They can't normal set. But here's the thing. This card will shuffle everything they have back into the deck. The thing I have with Storming Mirror Force, it returns them all to hand. I don't want them getting the resources back in hand. For extra deck cards, this works either way. It just shuffles them back into the deck. Storming Mirror Force and Drowning Mirror Force are the same when it comes to Extra Deck, but this was mainly for the Flunder and Extra Deck matchups. Next off, we have two copies of D-Barrier. Now, I main deck this because I don't actually have a side deck. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a side deck yet for this deck, the, and my Extra Deck is only four cards. So yeah, D-Barrier though, it I did not see it a single match, and it did not come in clutch whatsoever. And my last two remaining cards in the main deck, Trap Trick. Two copies of Trap Trick. Would play a th I would play a third, uh, though the deck's at 40 right now, so I'm going to keep it that way. So, uh, yeah. Trap Trick, no-brainer. Next off for our Shrek, we have a DPE. Why? Because it's a Scythe Lock in this deck. And we get Dagda. Scythe, DPE, and Dagda. This, th these never left the competitive scene in my opinion. They are still so very competitive right now. And they are so toxic when you pull them off. I don't like being toxic, but it's the only way I can actually win at this game. So yeah, godly cards right there. Next off for a few XZs that I have, one Gustav Max for if I get two Elliches on field and want to push for game. If I want to burn for game like Cowboy back in the days. And then we got Phantom Knights of Breaksword. This was actually in case I already draw my... So this right here was in case I already drew my Fusion Destiny. Or, no, my uh, my artifacts. If I already had the artifacts in hand, or if I already had Scythe in hand, I'd set the Scythe, 
use my two pl pirate plants to make this break sword. So uh, yeah, this deck profile. Let's move on to a combo. So I'm going to show you a two card combo involving Eldritch the Golden Lord and Lone Fire Blossom. You don't have to use Eldritch the Golden Lord, but though it's actually the best target for Preta Plant uh, Orifice Scorpio. So uh, yeah, Eldritch is the best target for that because you're likely going to have three three traps in hand after your other cards are likely going to be three traps. So yeah. So how you start this off is normal Lone Fire Blossom, Tribute Lone Fire Blossom, Summon another, Tribute, Summon another Lone Fire Blossom, Tribute that one, Special Orphus Scorpio. Orphus Scorpio effect, Discard Eldlich, Special Darlington Cobra, and uh, Darlington Cobra effect activates, Add Fusion Destiny. So why do I go Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Lone Fire? Deck thinning. That way we can see cards we want to see the following turn. Then you go Link Summon, Artifact Dagda. Activate Fusion Destiny. Activate Fusion Destiny, Chain, Activate Fusion Destiny, Chain Dagda. You're either going to set Artifact Lancia or Artifact Scythe, depending on matchup. I like to go Lancia in the Flunder matchup. I like to go Artifact Scythe against everything else that uses an extra deck, so basically the entire meta. So we're going to Scythe in this instance, and then uh, Fusion Destiny or Resolve, which will send Celestial and Dasher to the graveyard. You'll summon DPE. Now, this right here is off just two cards. Of course, like in Cyber Sudlich, you can't do this off one card anymore, but it still works. And uh, yeah, if you draw a handful of traps though with a card of demise or a fusion destiny, if you draw say three traps, fusion destiny and card of demise, you're still living. You are still living. Because you'll have you'll set five back row, you'll set three back row, uh, activate card of demise, and uh, draw three. Set the fusion. You'll draw two. Well, actually, you just set the fusion destiny too, because like you can't even use it. But don't know where I was going with that, but either way, this is good. This is good right here. This is full combo. And you may be asking yourself, what if they have other things? Well, you still have three other cards in hand. So you're going to activate DPE effect. Pop itself and your scythe. Scythe. So with these, you must do scythe. You're, you're going to do DPE chain link one, scythe chain link two. Scythe's going to special itself. And DPE is going to special itself during the next time I phase. The reason you do DPE chain link one, scythe chain link two, is because if they have ghost spell and effect valor. So if they have ghost spell, to negate your uh, DPE, and then they'll have effect valor to negate your scythe on summon, or imperm or something like. They'll have something to negate this on summon. So effect will activate, lock them out of the Ashrek, godly. And uh, say they destroy your scythe. And they leave Dagda on field. Standby phase. DPE comes back. And then uh, you're going to summon back DPE. You'll have back row likely. We don't have it in, in this case. We're just going to pass turn. But Artifact Dagda reads. During your opponent's turn, if this Link Summon card is destroyed, you can special summon one Artifact Monster from your graveyard in defense position. What's an artifact monster in our graveyard? Artifact Scythe. So on standby phase... So on standby phase, we're going to activate DP effect. Pop itself. Or... Pop itself. And Dagda. Chain link 1 DP, chain link 2 Dagda. Dagda. Special artifact Scythe. And then DP come back on the next standby phase. Artifact Scythe effect. Lock your opponent out of the extra deck a second time. They cannot special from extra deck for two turns, and and once they get rid of the artifact scythe, they'll still have DPE to use next turn. They will still have to deal with DPE next turn. Yeah. So uh, that's the deck profile, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, please subscribe, and uh, comment down below what you think I should change about the deck profile. If you think I should just throw it away or just like. Or if you actually like the deck, because like, a lot of people were giving me hate at this locals for it. And uh, this is the field center I won, guys. So, um, thank you guys, and uh, see you next time. Peace.